everyone, welcome back. It's Pam, and I'm back for Hashtag Thrifty Thursday, which is hosted by uh, Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. And I will put a link to her channel below, so go over and check her out and all the other ladies that are a part of this collaboration. So, let's see what I found this week, huh? First of all, um, I'm always looking for these size tins. Um, they're just good for storing all your little bits and pieces for, for uh, junk journaling. It, they hold really nice and you can kind of stack them a little bit if you can find a place to stack them. I'm running out of room. <laughs> um, so I got that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> got a frog in my throat this morning. It's raining outside again. Um, I went to the Goodwill the other day <coughs> and I got this whole roll of wallpaper for 75 cents. I was like, I don't need any more of this stuff, but I had to get it because I think I can maybe put some on my Etsy shop. Other people might be interested, but it's, it's kind of unusual. The flowers are spaced far apart, but you're able to, if you want to, cut it so that it's a central spot on your tag or on the, a journal cover, anything like that. So, I couldn't believe that. That was like amazing. It's like, wow, a whole roll. <clears throat> of course, my husband said, what are you going to do with that? And I said, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, what else did I get? Um, oh, <laughs> we have two cats. We have Bartholomew and we have Augustus. Bartholomew is the two-year-old that has never grown up. Likes to get into everything, okay? So in the kitchen, we have to put rubber bands around the door handles because he'll just take his paw and open up and go in. Uh, and, and when he goes into the... He went into the dish cabinet once, and that's when we started locking the doors, so to speak. You know how they used to have those child locks on the doors? <laughs> we need them here. So that's my bark. But I got these this nice bag of uh, band uh, bandies, rubber bands at uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, now they're a buck and a quarter, and they're not a buck anymore. That was a rude waking up. <laughs> I also found this. This is what I'm going to show you right next. This is from the Dollar Tree. They're stencils, and they're really pretty. And I thought those would be so pretty in journals, you know, for your um, your borders or uh, your belly bands tags on your journal covers on your pages wherever you want to use it and there's three different designs there we go so pretty so i was excited to get those and then of course i had to buy some more stickers because i just like them but these are really pretty um they've got birds and flowers and butterflies on these you know i had two of them they were kind of slim pickings on these. Usually they have a lot of variety, but they didn't this time. This one I took out of the package because it was so long I wanted to fold it up. But I got these butterflies. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're big, yes. But uh, they are very pretty. And I'm sure I'll find a place for them somewhere in one of my journals. And then I must have been on a butterfly kick yesterday. I also found these. So they're butterflies in all different sizes, from big down to small. And these are like uh, dark blue, aqua, and royal blue, and a little bit of gold. So these are nice. And I got the pink ones too. <laughs> so I think for spring journals, I'm pretty much covered on butterflies now. Unless I find some little ones. So that was all from the Dollar Tree. Get these out of the way here. And then, um, let's see, what else do I have? I found these um, last week when I went uh, into the thrift, my thrift store that I work at, the food bank. And I got four of them, and I thought they were so pretty. I love these little, I call them ramekins. They're for small serving, you know, whatever. But when I have a snack or anything, I put it in a small bowl like this 
So it makes it look like when I empty the bowl, it's like I've had a whole bunch, but I really haven't. So, logical, I don't know. But uh, anyways, I like the pattern on them. I thought they were really pretty. And they're all in very good condition. I mean, every one of them is exactly the same. Well, I got four on camera. And they're microwave and dishwasher washer are usable. So. so that's those guys. And then this week I found this darling bracelet. It's a stretch bracelet. So I like that. And I found this vintage pin. She's a ballerina doll. And she's just old gold, gold plated metal. Um, but uh, she's got mother of pearl little discs for her skirt. I'll get her a little closer if it'll let me or not. I just thought that was so cute. So that's with the jewelry. And then yesterday um, I got these. I got a whole stack of them. They're. Um, let me see which way is the right direction here. I think this way would be the direction. Okay, and it's got Lily in the Valley up in the corner. Well, what's really cool, this opens up, and it opens up. So you've got a lot of area to journal, and I'm going to try to figure out which, which way to turn these, maybe join a few, whatever. And, uh, Call from Red Hedner. Those telemarketers, they get me every time I'm on the phone. Call from Red Hedner. Uh, but anyways, so I got a whole box of those. I thought that'll be fun. And then I found a few pages of this um, lavender-lined stationery. And I thought, oh yes, I can definitely use that. Mm, my favorite color. <clears throat> and, let's see. What else? Okay, I'll show you this next. <laughs> Someday I'm going to have my cat journal done. Uh, I've barely started on it, but I keep collecting for it. So I might have several cat journals when I get done with this. But I found this one yesterday. 365 bedtime cat tails. And it is full of little short stories about cats. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. It's got great illustrations in it and great little stories. I think it's really neat. It's a nice book, nice big book. Maybe I could use this for one of my journals. Ooh, I could fill that. That would be nice. I could fill this book up with all kinds of stuff. Okay, my rope. My wallpaper was trying to roll away from me there. Okay, the last thing I got um, last week, and I had to work on them a little bit because the person I bought them from, um, they were, they had come unglued, so I wanted to reattach them. But they're the vintage um, calling cards, and I got 30 of them. So right now on Etsy, I have a digital download of Victorian calling cards. I think there's 20 of them. I'm going to add another 30, so that's now going to be 50 calling cards in one download digital. And um, hopefully I can get that done. It's, I'm, they're supposed to be sunshine tomorrow. We'll see. Because that's when I like to photograph. But I'm going to show you just real quick what they look like. They're all very pretty. Oops. I'm going to knock this wallpaper off yet. Let me angle it there. There we go. Let's see. This one is this way. I'm trying to look at these upside down. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There's this one. It's got a little cottage scene. They're just so beautiful. And, you know, the card part is 
you know, it's got a little age to it. Maybe a little mark here or there, a little stain, but it just adds to the character as far as I'm concerned. I like the, um, I'm really showing up on here, but there's the textured uh, area around. This one and this one. I couldn't believe how many there were. I was just like, usually you find one or two when you go to an antique mall. And there was just this whole pile laying there, falling apart. Of course, nobody else is going to want them. And I'm like, I'll take you home and fix you. And another letter. This is a smaller one. And then another fan. I already have two of these. I love these. They have that little fuzzy stuff on the top. And then I had ones that didn't have the uh, decoration on them. They just had the names. But, you know, those are kind of cool, too. I love the writing on this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. Beautiful script writing. And, uh, let's see, that's a... Here's another one that's pretty writing. wonder who these people were, you know. There's a story behind each one. This one, the calligraphy is... Gorgeous. I really like that one. Yeah, I thought this was neat. Let me decorate it out. And then I've got pieces parts, which I can do something with. I have one without a card and two, three. I like that one. The kitty cat, guess where that one's going? <laughs> and the journal, of course. Little, what does called the lopsa opsilor dogs or something like that? And then this guy I thought was really kind of strange. He's a chef and he's holding this gigantic knife. <laughs> I'm assuming it was on an advertising calling card. You know, like, this is me, I'm the butcher. But uh, it's the first time I've seen one like that. <laughs> it was kind of interesting. So that's all I have for today. Uh, short and sweet. But uh, next week we will find more treasures. So until then, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm trying to build that up so that uh, I can have a giveaway. And uh, also, uh, don't forget to go over and watch Sherry and all the other girls, too. So, thank you. God bless. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.